Let's talk real quick on threat preparedness levels. And um, when you look at how things are done in the military and on a national level, on the national level you have the terrorist threat scale. And it goes up and down depending on what the threats are. You go from a more vigilant state to a less vigilant state, just depending on what's going on in current events locally, nationally, and globally. In the military, you've got the force protection conditions. You've got, you know, normal, then Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and depending on what the threats are, what's going on, if your base is about to get attacked or has been attacked, is going to dictate what your readiness level is. So let's talk about your own personal readiness levels. Let's talk about uh, level one through level three. Level one is day to day. This is my level one right now. A regular Taurus 9mm basic gun with an extra magazine. And yeah, I do have a cell phone and I carry a knife. Um, it's an everyday carrying. I have a nice little Kershaw. In any case, that's my level one. Just basic stuff. Everyday carry, going on business as, your, as usual. You have a fair amount of vigilance and it's more of a day to day type vigilance. Level two is things just got kicked up a notch. And you probably recognize I just did a video on this bag. Uh, so you recognize this from the video I just did, but things are kicked up a notch a little bit. I'm going for a little bit more armament, a little bit more supplies. That's level two. And that's local, natural, uh, local uh, type natural disaster, some type of issue, the power went out, something like that. I'm going to kick up my readiness just a little bit and be a little bit more vigilant. Level three is something that I hope never happens in the civilian world. Level three, I'm kind of making a jump from just carrying a handgun and some more items, more ammunition, to now I'm carrying a rifle. I have a full loadout. I've got a more capable handgun. This I, I lovingly refer to as my war glock. But uh, also I'm throwing gear on. And uh, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. This is a holster I have for the Glock. Nice safari land. And then I've got tucked in right here with the We the People deal. I've got tucked in. I've got a vest with all the accoutrement that I can throw on. And that's pretty much a level 3 type setup where reality has went surreal for whatever reason. And uh, I now have to carry a rifle around. So it's kind of like, think about it as readiness levels. Level 1, 2, and 3. Again, level 1, just day-to-day, -day, normal stuff. Level 2, things are happening. Maybe a local event has happened, so now we got to plus up a little bit. And level 3, liken it to, uh, for you military guys, force protection condition, Charlie or Delta. You're pretty much about to be full-on hit, or you did get hit, and for some reason reality has went surreal. And uh, you now have to be walking around with a rifle. And I got to tell you, it's a sorry, sorry day indeed if civilians are walking around with loaded rifles such as this. Hopefully it would never, ever come to that, and I like to think it never will, but you never know. And oh, by the way, as a side note, this is my wife's little level 3 gun right there. So just a quick video on kind of my mindset about things. Uh, it's always a good idea to have that kind of system where you're stepping it up. Um, it's something you can write down. It's something you can make um, prerequisites for. You know, hey, what's going to cause me in my local area, what's going to cause me to go from this to this? Or what is going to happen to cause me to go from this directly to that? So just something to think about if you haven't already done so. And... Um, Again, thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to share what you carry as far as your little level one, two, or three loadouts. If you do that sort of thing, if not, then that's perfectly fine too. Um, you certainly don't have to. This is just something I personally do and I personally think about. So, all right, as always, thanks a lot for watching.